Jake here for American Muscle, and in this video, I'm taking a look at the Speedform hood scoop fitting 2005 to 2014 Mustang GTs and V6s. Add some aggressive classic muscle car style to your S197's hood with this scoop from Speedform. This is an easy install that brings a unique look to the front end of your Mustang, all for a lot less than you'd spend on a new hood. It's an easy way to up your car style and make a bold classic muscle car style statement at the same time. With so many S197s out on the roads, differentiating yours from the rest isn't necessarily the easiest task. And with the front end being pretty bold looking to begin with, adding a new hood scoop is a great place to start differentiating your own car. Now this is not a functional scoop, let's get that out of the way right off the bat. This is just one that's going to provide a nice aesthetic upgrade, but I think it's a pretty good looking upgrade. It comes in two pieces here, so you've got the main scoop and you've got the fake grill here as well that's gonna sit right in the front. It's a large sort of rectangular design, it's kind of angled, canted toward the front of the car, as you might be able to see right there. And it gives the front end an aggressive appearance, something more akin to an old school muscle car, which is fitting considering the retro design language. Now it's designed to fit perfectly in the center of your hood too. You are gonna have to drill two little holes in it but this does come with the template and the screws that you need included right there in the box so there's not really going to be any compromising of the hood structure you're not going to have to worry about this causing a ton of rust or corrosion on the surface now this one in particular as you've probably noticed already comes unpainted so it's primed and ready to go you will have to finish it off somehow, but it leaves things nice and open-ended for you. If you want to paint it body color, a contrasting color, or do something way out there, vinyl wrap it, whatever you want, you're pretty much free to finish it off however you desire. Construction here is all ABS plastic, so it's strong and able to withstand the elements, and it really doesn't weigh all that much either. You do have some 3M adhesive on the back to ensure a good stick on the hood as well, so you're not gonna have to worry about this coming undone because you're gonna have that and those two screws that are gonna mount right here in the center. So even if you are throwing your car around, you're not gonna have to worry about this coming flying off. Pricing comes in at about $175, and that does put it on the more affordable end of the category. It's not the least expensive option, but it is still an affordable part that can make a pretty big visual impact. And for that, I think it's worthwhile if you like the style. Installation gets a two out of three on our difficulty meter, and it should only take you about an hour to complete. Now that is baking in a little bit of extra time, assuming that you're gonna paint or finish this off yourself but actually getting it mounted on the car is very straightforward. Again, you're gonna peel and stick these pieces of tape, get this guy into place, and before all that, you're gonna use the template that's included with the two screws to mount this nice and securely. Just make sure you get your hood nice and clean before you start, and you might wanna finish off those holes where you screw into the hood as well. It's just a good idea to do that. Also a good idea to do this in the sunlight so the adhesive is a bit warm, just to ensure the best stick. But enough of me talking about it, let's go ahead and hand things over to one of our AM customers who's going to walk you through the process now. Hello, today we're gonna to install the Speedform unpainted hood scoop from American Muscle. I've lined up everything we should need here and I'll show you the tools. You're gonna to need isopropyl alcohol and paper towels to clean where the hood scoop is gonna go. Tape measure and masking tape to help place the hood scoop flathead screwdriver, and I have a couple of body tools to help take the push pins out for the liner under the hood. These are not necessary, but I had them, so we're gonna use them. A center punch, a hammer, a drill with a 3 16 bit, and finally a Phillips head screwdriver to install the screws. Back here, we have the locator strips for the holes on the hood scoop, like a template. We have the instructions, the honeycomb grill that goes in the front of the hood scoop, the screws and washers, and the hood scoop itself, which comes primed with a gray primer. Um, I chose to wrap mine in vinyl because I had vinyl, but it comes pre-prepped. So the Speedform hood scoop comes with quite detailed instructions with one exception installing the honeycomb on the front of the hood scoop. I've chosen to do that first. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your paper towel and your isopropyl alcohol and clean that area. So that the grill sticks, it's got a two-faced tape that's pre-attached. It 
as a tape that goes on the back, and then this one we'll remove later and when we place the hood ski. So I just got my jackknife out here to kind of peel that back. And I understand that this is pretty good tape, so you really get one shot. And press it in place. The next step is to place the locator strips. The hole goes over the holes provided in the hood scoop to help you center your screws. So the locator strip has a little bit of tape right in the middle over the hole. You remove that little square and center it over the hood scoop. Hold it. Like so. Second one. And to make sure they stay, we'll press them down good. And on to the next step. So today we're installing the American Muscle unpainted hood scoop on my 2007 Mustang. Step one is to clean the area where the hood scoop will go so that the tape on the bottom of the hood scoop sticks better. We have our isopropyl alcohol and our paper towel. This will remove any fingerprints or anything that would prevent the tape from sticking. It is to open the hood and remove the liner from underneath. This is where your flathead screwdriver and your push pin removal tools come in. So there's several pins. I've removed a couple already just to speed things up. Step four is to place the hood scoop on the center line of the hood. They recommend the back be eight to eight and a half inches from the back of the hood. I set mine at eight and a quarter just to split the difference. But I would look at the front and just make sure it, wherever it lays down nice is what I would do. So we used the honeycomb grill in the front to center with my stripes in the hood. In the back, we put masking tape down at our eight and a quarter inches and mark the center line on that. We then put masking tape on the hood scoop, centered that, and marked a line through there to help us line it up when we place it. We're also gonna put masking tape along the edge to help us place it because when we set it down, the corners are going to have the tape off already and they're going to stick. So we want it to be right, right out of the box. And this will help us line that up. Also, in step three, we place the locator strips over the holes on the scoop. Now we tape this down good. We're going to put a couple pieces of tape on there so it doesn't move on us. And we'll go to the other side and repeat the process. We'll also put a piece of tape on the front. And 
And this is painter's tape, so it should come off easily when we're done. Now we pick up the hood scoop and the locator strip should stay showing us where to drill our holes. So we aligned our hood scoop, set our locator strips, removed the hood scoop. Now we're going to use our hammer and our center punch. We're going to lightly tap where the two holes go, and then we'll drill the holes. So we've placed our locator strips, we've center punched the holes, now we're going to use our 3 16th drill bit to drill the two holes. I placed a board underneath here just in case I pop through. I don't want to hit anything under the edge of it. Now where I placed mine, there's actually two pieces of metal under there that you'll drill through. So we're going to want to get a vacuum and a blower and clean these shavings off right away so that we don't scratch the car. First I'll do the other side. Okay, now we'll clean the car and we'll go on to the next step. I used our masking tape to help pick up metal shavings. Now that we've got it mostly clean, we're going to blow it off just to make double sure. Okay, now that we've drilled our holes and cleaned the hood from the shavings, we're going to go over it with the isopropyl one more time. We got a better idea of exactly where the hood scoop is going to go. You don't have to do the entire area, just where the glue strips are going to go around the edges. Get any fingerprints off. And then I'm going to do another little step. Not necessary, not in the instructions, just something I think to try to help myself out here to help align the hood scoop. Open the hood. I took the screw in the washer and I put masking tape on it. And I'm going to put them up through the holes that we drilled just to help us align the hood scoop. And just in case these come out, when I set the hood scoop down, we're going to lay something over the engine bay to catch the screws if they would fall. And we'll close the hood. So step seven is to remove the tape on the corners, the back corners of the hood scoop and then place the hood scoop. I folded back both corners of all of the tape, so once it's set in place, we can grab the tape and slide it out the sides, and we did both ends in case something goes awry, we have another end to do that. So 
now we'll remove the tape on the back corners. Remove the covering on the tape. Peeled back both sides on all of these pieces of tape and then we'll move over to the car. Now we're gonna set the hood screw. And we're going to go underneath the hood and make sure we get the screw started. I can feel the screws grab the plastic. Now we'll go up on top and remove the rest of the tape. Now we'll press the hood scoop down. We'll go under the hood and tighten the two screws up. Careful we don't over tighten them. They're just going into the ABS plastic. We don't want to strip it out. And we'll go back up to the top and press it down some more. Voila! One nice looking hood scoop on our Mustang. Now that our hood scoop is installed, one of the last steps is to reinstall our liner under the hood.
That's gonna wrap it up here for our review and install the Speedform Hood Scoop fitting 2005 to 2014 Mustang GTs and V6s. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, for all things Mustang, be sure to keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.